Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to be making a bookshelf. Now, the project itself is going to be nothing earth shattering, but you may get some use out of some of my methods, which may or may not qualify as unconventional. First off, I feel like I should probably address the elephant in the uh, room. It is mega windy at my house today, and for lack of having a dead cat to put on my little microphone here, an elephant had to be sacrificed for the cause. So I'll do my best to keep it as unobtrusive as possible. Before I get started on the project though, I wanna give you a quick channel update. If you're not interested in the channel update, that's cool, I understand. Go to this timestamp right here. I'll also have it linked down in the description. That's where the project actually starts. But for those of you who are interested in just what the heck's going on, here's what's up. About five or six months ago, I kind of stumbled into something that I'm gonna call an informal apprenticeship, working on small aircraft. And it's not exactly something that I feel comfortable making videos about at this point. Not that there's anything wrong with it or anything to hide, but the truth of the matter is, I'm the Padawan here. I'm learning from a guy who's forgotten more about aviation than I'll probably ever know. And for me to be uh, taking his time while he's volunteering his time to teach me, if I'm running around trying to set up cameras and trying to get video shots and fooling with microphones and stuff, I'm not fully engaged and I don't feel like that would be making really good use of, of his time that he's volunteering to teach me the ways. Hopefully at some point in the not too distant future, I'll get to a point where I'm comfortable uh, bringing you along and kind of exposing general aviation to the viewers of this channel. General aviation is something that I've been deeply in love with for many, many years, my whole life, truly. And it's something that I want to promote as much as I possibly can, but I want to make sure to do it uh, respectfully and I want to make sure to do it in a way that's, uh, you know, cautious and, you know, uh, using my head, basically, rather than just strapping a camera onto everything that I do and, and uh, just putting it out there. So that combined with the fact that I, you know, life, kids, job, all that other stuff, I'm not a super good multitasker, so I'm trying to get back into the groove making videos. If you see another video follow this one up, you know that I've been somewhat successful in that. And now finally, on to the project. The first thing that I did was I got into Google SketchUp and drew out the room that I'm building this furniture for so that I have actual correct dimensions. So for example, this weird looking shelf right here with a cat box underneath it is that weird looking shelf with a cat box underneath it. And over there is where this new shelf is supposed to go. The cool thing about SketchUp is it is in real dimensions. So for me at least, being very visual, it kind of takes out a lot of the, I don't know, takes out a lot of the math and a lot of the possibility for <laughs> for mixed up measurements and stuff. So I took what I needed there, I measured everything out, and then I put it on my four by eight sheets. Now this doesn't look like it's exactly optimizing these sheets, but for what I need, this is the best that I could do. So this, I've even got the measurements on there. So now I can just print this out, these three guys, and now I have a cut sheet. Just like that. And now the sawhorses, which I don't have, but if you got a couple of pallets laying around, like, you know, many of us who make stuff, just add a leg to the middle of your pallet and you got a perfect sawhorse, a matched set. Now with my handy dandy cut sheet, I'll go ahead and lay this out. 14 and was about an eighth for the saw kerf, four foot nine inches. All right, so what I've got here is the good old router with a half inch bit on it so that I can router out these half inch slots for the drawers to go in. So first off, I'm gonna set it, uh, set zero, set zero, and then I'm gonna drop it by a quarter inch, because that's all the depth that I want to cut. Now I gotta set the distance. I'm gonna put it up against the edge. Now I do have this unplugged. Make sure that you got this unplugged if you're if you're fooling with the bit. Just never know the crazy stuff that can happen. 
Now that I have the cutting part of the bit up against the edge here, I'll go ahead and mark it. Mark the uh, sole of it, I think it's called. Okay, so there's my distance. I'm going to mark the furthest extent of that. Sharpen up this pencil. There. Now all I need to do is mark off a half inch beyond that. And that is where I'm going to clamp my straight edge as a guide for my router. All right, now as you can plainly see, I'm working under the cover of darkness, but I've got a good light, I've got a good work surface, I'm just going to sally forth here. What I've got set up on my skill saw is uh, a guide. This is one that I had to construct for myself just because I could not find a place to buy one when I needed one. And uh, so basically, this thing's going to be 14 inches wide. I've got this set up for 14 inches. That way I don't have to mark a long line and then have to try to follow that line with my skill saw. If I've got a, a guide out there, really, as long as my guide stays put and it's nice and nice and tight, I can just go down the line twice and I only I don't have to remeasure or draw any lines or anything like that. So we'll see how it works. I did this not quite optimally. Uh, the fact that I'm going to have to be kind of backwards with the with the skill saw, I'm not real happy about that. I should have thought that through a little bit better. So what I mean is it would be much better if I could be pushing this way if I had started my measurements down from the other end, but you know. We'll deal with it. This is the part that I'm not excited about. Well, that didn't turn out too bad. Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Okay, now what? Get rid of that. Man, I kind of painted myself into a corner on that one, didn't I? This looks like a job for my cordless saw. So now I have the two sides with some nice dados cut in there for the shelves. What's next? According to my cut sheet, which hopefully I can see better than you can, uh, I need one, two, three, six that are 14 inches wide by four foot nine tall or long. So, save a little bit of time. I'm gonna clamp this guy together, at least two rather, and uh, see if I can cut them both at the same time. It's a little bit risky because if I screw up one, I screw up both of them, I guess. Figure if that thing kicked loose and went all crazy, it's much better to be running a cordless saw than a uh, corded one. I don't want to lose my fingers. Now, pretty much down to the fun part. I've gone through and kind of deburred all these slots.
Not enough for the night. But now you see what I mean maybe by the sag, right? So what I'm gonna do, it's fairly substantial, plus I need to shore that up a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll cut some blocks that go in here that keep it keep it straight up and down. Keep it straight anyway. Because well that is not all that great for a bookshelf. All right, so I couldn't stand it. I really want to get this thing done tonight. So I went ahead and cut the blocks I was referring to, spacers or whatever, like so. And they're going to go right about in the middle. I got the first one in place here, marked it. And then I'm going to just shoot a nail to make sure that it's lined up in the back. Now we'll do the next one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the nails in the top first. And then I'm going to go up kind of at a diagonal from the bottom. Um, I could do it the other way, but you're not going to see that bottom surface. So if there's any, any mark, any ugliness, you won't see it. It's on the bottom surface. That's my plan anyway. And there we go. Now these guys are held in the middle. That way any weight that's put here is gonna be transferred all the way down to the floor. And hopefully this can help to uh, straighten this thing out. Now, I don't know if you can see it very well. Can you see the bow in this thing? Let me see if I can get you a different angle. There, check out that bow. Isn't that sweet? That's the biggest problem that I've got with this thing now. So, I do have a plan though. I started to put some weight at the top corners to, oh yeah, and a board at the bottom in the middle to hopefully squash it down, but then it occurred to me, it'd be more efficient if I flip that upside down. I guess maybe, maybe I'll leave that set overnight and see if it will, uh, See if it will bend it down because the next the next thing that I've got to do needs this to be about as flat as it can be. As much as I didn't want to give up on this for the night, I think I'm going to need to maybe add a little bit more weight to the top to my anvil. Ye old penny jar. And on the other side, a vice. I don't know. I hope it works. Good morning. Let's see how we did. I got to get going to work here, but before I do, I want to see if this thing flattened out because if it did, I can put these guys on with some nails as well as some glue. And then by the time I get home, it can be time to uh, take the weight off of it and put it in the house. So let me see how my, how it leveled out. That's not too bad. Let me see if I can bring you in here a little bit better show you how it did so there's still a little bit of a gap right there on the end but uh i think it'll be okay we get enough heavy books on this thing eventually it'll flatten out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these boards and i'm going to attach them thusly with some nails as well as glue I guess I'll turn the camera on when I do it this time. I went through real quick and I put the, uh, with the board here, I went ahead and marked just pencil marks all the way down here. That way I know where I can put the glue or how far I have to go with the glue.
now by the time I'm back from work, hopefully, I can take all the weight off of this and uh, the glue will be all set up and it will be stout. Yep, I think that'll do.